Thank you for creating time to be here. We help you get more clients. Today we are looking at how can you send an SMS from an email. So it's gonna be simple, straightforward, and to the point. And don't forget to subscribe, share widely, and in case you have any query, you can always reach out to us. So how does emails to SMS work? It pretty much works the same as email to email. The way you run an email campaign, for instance, you're using something like MailWiz, and we can always help you uh, set this up for you for free. All you need is to just buy a VPS from us, SSD3 annual plan, and we'll do the setup, the MailWiz setup absolutely for free. So when you're running a regular campaign from your MailWiz, what you need is you need a list and you need a you need a template that is the message you're sending out and you definitely need a delivery server so the email the email the sms message will be sent from the smtp of the email marketing system so don't worry about the technicals and all of that imagine a scenario where you are running an email marketing campaign what is the difference between running an email marketing campaign and running an email to SMS campaign. The difference only comes in here. All right, so you have your phone numbers. The phone numbers are from various, various providers. So you need to convert your phone numbers into an email equivalent. So basically a phone number is simply a coded email address a phone number is simply a coded email address if for instance your phone number is something like uh, this something like um, let me do this real quick yeah if your phone number is plus one one two two seven eight nine 789 if you're from the US that is let me make it a little bit large if this is your phone number here or what you need to know is who is the provider of this number if for instance this number is being provided by uh, Verizon or Virgin Mobile you just need this extension here copy that that is the email address for instance this number is from um, AT&T you just need that delete that start so this is the email equivalent of that phone number now you can have this on your list for instance, you have this, this is the email, this is the first name, but, and now you can now go ahead and upload your csv or this excel in your email marketing platform and when you send out this message the recipient is is going to see i always recommend that you don't include the subject line so that they only receive the message and they are going to receive it in their phone number via sms so it's as simple as that the only catch when it comes to this method is how are you going to sieve through all your phone numbers to know which one is T-Mobile, which one is Cricket Wireless, which one is ANT, and all of that. That is where the big hustle comes in. That is the reason why this method is not very famous. But if you can, if your list is small and you're willing to go the extra mile of ensuring that um, you identify the phone numbers by the provider and then you add this um, extension here then it is going to be effective and especially from a cost point of view so that's all i have for you for today 
Thank you. Don't forget to share widely and subscribe. It's goodbye for now.